Welcome to Symphonic Elk's fifth comic book haul. I had uh, considered waiting until this weekend to do this, but I've just gotten too many books in in the last couple of days, either uh, via one of my LCSs or through eBay and a couple of other other options. So I figured I'd go ahead and do it now, and it might be a week or so before I do another because I don't expect this many books in um, at the clip that I've been getting them in. Anyway, um, stay tuned to the end. I um, have a, a pretty big grail to show as well as a, a small announcement um, that I think might be worth people's while. So anyway, we'll uh, get started. As usual, I start with the covers that I like, or in this case, uh, just a, a random book that I picked up uh, today um, that I, I was interested in. So uh, this is Star Wars Forces of Destiny, the Ray one-shot. Um, Disney's been releasing, or let's just say IDW um, has been releasing uh, a number of these one-shots that focus on the female characters from the Star Wars universe. And, and I, I found them so far to be uh, pretty interesting, so I thought I would just highlight one that, that came out today. Uh, now on to the comics that I bought, mostly for the covers that they had. Um, so the first one is the New Avengers number 35, and I, I'm going to butcher a lot of these names, but I, I'll try. Uh, this is a Yanel Francis U cover. Uh, then I also picked up the Francisco Matina cover that came out today. Uh, the Flash number 38, and it is it is fantastic. I, I can't say enough about um, uh, the, the work that's done on this. And I, I wish that he would actually do more covers for DC, um, since they tend to um, have them, uh, or the release them at cover price. Uh, I picked up Wonder Woman 38 today, the Jenny Frison cover. I picked up Uncanny X-Men 437, the Salvador LaRocca cover. I picked up Superman Gen 13, uh, number one. Uh, this is one of the three J. Scott Campbell covers. Um, I actually like the second one better, um, but I just haven't been able to find it for a price that uh, I thought was reasonable. Uh, saw this on one of our fellow YouTube content creators, Recent Hauls. And um, I don't remember who at the moment, but I'll definitely give that person a shout out in the description. Picked up uh, Gen 13, number 12, also a J. Scott Campbell cover. I just like the cover for reasons that people might expect. And then I picked up today the 1 in 100 J. Scott Campbell cover for... Uh, Deha Thoris. Honestly, I wasn't going to pick it up. I don't really think it's all that great. I also tend not to go um, for covers with the very scantily clad women, uh, but it was a good price at my uh, LCS, so I figured, why not? Uh, so I got a Del Otto cover um, for Secret Wars number six. This is just filler for an order so that I wasn't paying um, $4 shipping for like a $3 book. Uh, I picked up the Adam Hughes Dr. Manhattan number one cover. And I picked up the Legion, the Adam Hughes bondage cover. And that's uh, the Legion number 35. Uh, today I also picked up Venom 160, the Lin Hyuk cover. Uh, the Harley Quinn Frank Cho number 34 cover. Uh, two of the Phoenix Resurrections 2 and 3, the Victor Hugo connecting covers. This one and this one. I picked up Old Man Hawkeye number one, the Chichetto cover. Uh, Supergirl 17, the Art Germ cover. And finally, be careful what you wish for uh, the Harley Quinn issue that it's a Chad Harden cover, and I guess that it presents the uh, Loot Crate exclusive story as a standalone comic. So I thought it was a, a great cover and worth picking up. So now moving on 
to some of the minor uh, and medium, I guess, keys that I picked up in the last couple of days. So I, like I said, I went to one of my LCSs and I, uh, they got a new collection and I just dug through um, their boxes and picked up a lot of, uh, of minor keys from the last, I would say, five to 10 years um, at, a, at, a, at a very cheap price. So let's get started with the DC titles. So I picked up uh, Green Lantern number 10. Uh, so this is the first team appearance of the Sinestro Corps, uh, as well as the first appearance of Manicor, Sandstorm, and Arkilla. I picked up Green Lantern number 25. Uh, it's the first team appearance of a lot of different teams, but of the red, orange, blue, and indigo Lantern Corps, as well as the first appearance of LaFreeze, the Scarred uh, Guardian, Monk, and it's the death of the Anti-Monitor. I picked up number 20. It's the first team appearance of the Star Sapphire Corps. I picked up number 43, the first team appearance of the Black Lantern Corps. Uh, then I picked up the uh, Tempest uh, Sandman number 75. So this is the final issue of Sandman. It's unfortunately the uh, first print and not the very rare second print, but um, I, I like the cover of it, so I, I picked it up. Uh, so I picked up Flash Zero from the New 52. Uh, that's the first appearance of Danny West. I picked up Flash number 7, which is the first appearance of Turbine. I picked up the Flash number 30, which is the first appearance of the new Wally West. And I also picked up uh, Flash number 1 from the Rebirth, and that's the first team appearance of the organization, organization known as the Black Hole. I picked up, uh, well, so the next three comics are from uh, one of the articles that was on comicbookinvest.com. Uh, highlighting uh, one of the characters, so we'll, we'll go through that. Uh, so I picked up Flash 29, 30, and 31. So 29 is the first appearance of Ramsey Rosso, and that's in the human, human identity. Um, Flash number 30 then becomes the first appearance of Bloodwork. And Flash 31 is Bloodwork's uh, first monster storm our monster form in story so moving along with the dc theme um, i picked up justice league number 33 which is when lex luther joins the justice league i picked up justice league 40 which is the first appearance of grail i picked up justice league 41 uh, that's the first appearance of myrena black picked up Catwoman uh, number 8 from the 1990s series. It's the first appearance of Zephyr. I picked up Detective Comics number 13. It's the first appearance of the Emperor Penguin, uh, aka the Emperor Black Cape. I picked up Detective Comics number 37. Uh, that is the first appearance of Anarchy, uh, spelled interestingly, um, who is also Samuel. And then I picked up uh, Batman 666. Um, that's the first appearance of Damian Wayne as Batman. Um, it's set 15 years in the future. And it's also the first appearance of <coughs> excuse me, Professor Pig. Uh, now moving on to the Marvel books that I picked up. Um, so I picked up Daredevil, A Man Without Fear, number 21. This is the first appearance of Superior Spider-Man. I believe I'll have to go back and again, um, you know, put the shout out in the description, but I believe that um, I got the idea for picking this comic book up from uh, Timothy the Canadian um, comic hunter, who has a, a, a wonderful channel that everyone should check out. I imagine most of the people who watch my videos also watch his already, but if you don't, you should. Uh, moving on to Spider-Man Deadpool number 8. That's the uh, debut of the new Spider-Man costume. Uh, number 9 is the first appearance of Itsy Bitsy. 
So then I picked up a couple of Uncanny X-Men uh, titles. I picked up number 390, um, as you can tell from the cover. This is the, uh, the issue where uh, Death, uh, where Colossus dies, unfortunately. I also picked up 428, which is the first uh, appearance of Azizel, and the one of the origins of Nightcrawler. So I picked up a handful of New Avengers issues. Uh, so I picked up the New Avengers Annual Number One. Uh, this is the wedding for of Luke Cage and Jessica Jones. I picked up one, uh, two copies, and there may have been a third for my my previous one of Avengers or New Avengers Number Four, uh, the first appearance of Marie Hill. I picked up. Uh, one copy of the Avengers number 11. This will be, I think, my second copy, uh, which is the first full appearance of Maya Lopez um, as Ronan, and then she becomes Echo. I picked the new Avengers number 16 up, which is the first appearance of The Collective. I got another copy of new Avengers number 27, which is the first appearance of Gwen Barton, who's Hawkeye, as Ronan. I picked up the New Avengers, number 53, which is where Brother Voodoo becomes Sorcerer Supreme. And then I'll, I have some other, uh, other Brother Voodoo uh, issues to come up in a few minutes. I also picked up... Uh, some Amazing Spider-Man issues, number five, which is the first full appearance of the third Spider-Woman, who is Maddie Franklin. I picked up uh, Amazing Spider-Man 546, which is the first appearance of Mr. Negative. I also picked up 550, which is the first appearance of Menace, who's Lily Hollister. Uh, number 565, which is the first appearance of the third Craven the Hunter, um, who's actually the daughter of Craven, the original one. I picked up number 567, and this issue is important uh, because this is where Spider-Man wears Daredevil's costume. And I guess I also didn't pick that one up. Uh, but there's Amazing Spider-Man 649, which is the first appearance of Phil uh, Urich as the Hobgoblin. And a really great cover. So now I'm going to move on to some of the older keys and maybe some more important ones that I, I, I picked up. So let's start with these. Uh, so I picked up X-Men 104 on Kenny X-Men. And so this is the first uh, team appearance of the Star Jammers, but it's just a cameo. And it's the first appearance of Corsair, who is Havoc and um, Cyclops' father, excuse me. Uh, I picked up Avengers number 13, which is the first appearance of Count Nefaria. I picked up Avengers number 34, which is the first appearance of the Living Laser. I picked up Journey into Mystery number 119. It's the first team appearance of the Warriors 3 and the second appearance of Destroyer. And I picked up Thor number 143. Um, which is the first team appearance of the Enchanters. Okay, so I also picked up Strange Tales 169. I told you we'd come back to Brother Voodoo. Uh, this is uh, his first appearance. And 170, which is his origin. I also picked up... Um, Master of Kung Fu, which is the first appearance of Shang-Chi. I picked up Suicide Squad number 23, which is the first appearance of Oracle as a cameo. I picked up Darkwing Duck number one on a whim. Uh, it's somewhat hard to find. Um, there was a free comic book day edition of it as well, but this is obviously not that. Um, yeah, it's just I, I grew up, I watched uh, Darkwing Duck and DuckTales and etc. And, and, and I don't know, it just brings back good memories. Uh, so today I picked up uh, Stabity Bunny 
number one, the Scout Comics issue. Um, so it's the premiere issue, but it's the, again, the Scout Comics release. Um, I already own, then I'll show it next, uh, Stabity Bunny number one, the independent release. Uh, also, again, um, a, a premiere issue. And and this book, and there are a couple of uh, like first print number ones for Stabity Bunny, uh, different covers, um, has gone up in price a lot in the last couple of um, weeks. And, you know, I'm not much for speculation, but I imagine that it can't keep the prices that um, that it's currently at. So if you have a, a copy of it and you're thinking about selling it, you should probably go ahead and sell it sooner rather than later. Of course, I'm also the person who sold Walking Dead number one right when the show came out, and that obviously was a big mistake, even though I did make good money from it. Um, I picked up Spawn 281, both covers. Honestly, I don't know why. In some ways, I'm kind of been irritated. Uh, they keep teasing this new character, which I honestly haven't read the book or the one before it. Um, but I think it's going to be Spawn's daughter is going to be a new hero and she's going to have her own book. But anyway, I, I picked the two of them up for cover price. I figured why not. All right, we're getting to the end. I have two... Um, oh, sorry, my dog's barking. I will be back in a minute. Okay, sorry about that. That was my dog, Bowser. He uh, was sitting in the bay window barking at, as far as I can tell, nothing. Um, but he was barking nonetheless. And looks like he might be barking again soon, but we'll see. Anyway, so in the previous haul, I showed Deadpool Merc with a Mouth number seven, the uh, first printing. Uh, I picked up the second printing, um, a 9.4. Uh, generally, I don't get graded books. I, Condition is not that important to me, especially when, you know, the difference between a 9.4 and a 9.6 or a 9.8 really is, is pretty minor in my mind, or, in, or my opinion. Um, but the price isn't minor, so I would rather have the book at a little bit lower grade. Um, but, you know, I totally understand if, you know, you're someone who likes graded books. But anyway, I got this for a great price, so I can pass up on it. Uh, so, like I said, uh, Merc with a Mouth. Uh, Deadpool. That is the first appearance of Lady Deadpool, and uh, this is, I believe, her first cover appearance. And from the last haul, you'll see that I got a raw copy of the San Diego Comic Con Comics number two. Uh, this is the first appearance in the U.S. of Hellboy. Um, this predates um, Next Men. <coughs> and, uh, but is not as uh, not the first first appearance. There's a prototype from the the cover of Dime Press number four that came out, I believe, in France. Um, that book is uh, very expensive. Uh, we're talking a decent copy condition wise, it can run you four hundred to five hundred dollars. Anyway, so I had ordered this. I found it for a good price online. Uh, before I found the raw copy that uh, you all saw in my last haul, and that was also a very good price, so I couldn't pass it up, especially uh, with the Hellboy movie coming out um, pretty pretty soon. Um, so I now have two copies. I'll have to figure out what I want to, to do with them, um, but we will see. And so here is the last um, comic book that I wanted to show today. It is, uh, I don't know if I want to go and say it's a mega grail. I mean, it's certainly no uh, Fantastic Four number one or Amazing Fantasy number 15. Um, but it's it's definitely up there. Um, so I guess without further ado, uh, I picked this up yesterday. And that is a copy of Daredevil number one the first appearance and origin of daredevil and the first appearance of foggy nelson and karen page um so i am i am quickly getting a lot of the the major marvel keys um as i can pick them up and um i will talk in a future 
video. Hopefully that uh, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll record it today and, and, and put it up today, but we'll see um, about how I'm picking up the keys that I am also um, at the speed at which I have uh, been picking stuff up and some advice for, for collecting um, that's probably not new are really all that novel, but some of the things that I've done to really um, enhance my collection over the past, um, I would say six months or so, since I've really gotten back into comic book collecting. Uh, but that'll be a future video. Um, I did have a announcement to make. So I am going to pull this. So this is Marvel premiere number 15. It is the first appearance of Iron Fist. It is not in great condition, but it's also my second copy. And it is one that I found in the collection that I looked at and I bought it for, as you can tell from the price sticker, uh, $12.99. So that's $13. Um, so I am planning on giving this away in some type of subscriber contest in the future. And there'll be a video explaining the rules once I figure out the best way to do this. Um, I know that people normally do um, 100, when, once they get 100 subscribers, they do a contest. I, I don't know that I want to wait that long, so I might uh, do that sooner. Um, we'll see, and this will be one of the prizes. I'll, there'll be a, a handful of other ones as well. But I just wanted to, you know, announce to Keep your eyes out on my channel for uh, when I announce the contest, and I will try to have some um, pretty good um, prizes for you know whatever channels win. Like I said, I haven't figured out the rules, but this will definitely be one of them. Um, so anyway, thank you for your time today. I appreciate it, and I hope uh, everyone has a great rest of their week. Thanks. Bye.